welcome welcome back to my channel i still have like morning voice which is great i decided to do a little morning routine i'm gonna try to make it as realistic but productive as possible it's nine o'clock i'm not gonna lie i tried to wake up earlier i actually set an alarm for eight o'clock but i went back to sleep these past few days i've been sleeping into like 11 12 so this is a good time for me i'm trying to get back into a better routine when summer first started i was waking up pretty early i got seven or eight o'clock because like i was still kind of in my school routine but now that's all gone so i'm gonna try to fix that because at this point i'm like sleeping in like way too much like literally i can't remember the last time i woke up earlier than 10 o'clock so honestly this video is my motivation to be more productive and hopefully it can motivate you i'm about to go to the bathroom wash my face do my skincare that's always the first thing i have to do in the morning because it just makes me feel less gross so let's go Now I'm gonna do my skincare. My skincare routine is pretty simple. I don't put too much stuff on my face because I just have really sensitive skin. First I go in with the Ordinary Serum, the Niacinamide and Zinc one. This is one skincare thing that has stuck with me for years. I don't even remember what it's supposed to do completely. Like I just know that it's like good for acne and textured skin. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this. It's so good and it's cheap. It's like seven bucks. What more could you want? And then I'm gonna put this Hydrocortisone Cream on which isn't that cute but I have eczema and it's been flaring up around my eye for some reason and i guess it's because of the pollen so we're gonna do that because you know we don't want crusty eyes okay and then i do my sunscreen which is a cerave hydrating mineral sunscreen i put like a dot on my hand and then i mix it with my moisturizer which is just a cerave lotion and i put it on my hand and i mix it together because the sunscreen leaves such a bad white cast on my face if i just use it alone and i don't want to like waste the sunscreen that sunscreen was like 20 bucks or something like that so i'm not just gonna get rid of it and look for a new sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast i'll just do this and then the last thing i do is put vaseline on my lips don't mind the label she has been through a lot and that is my skincare routine i like to think it's simple but effective for the most part anyways now i think i'm gonna make my bed real quick and then get something to eat I just made my bed, which is a miracle because if you know me, I'd never make my bed. I think we're gonna make breakfast now. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I made my breakfast. I've been making this for the past few days for my breakfast, even though for the past few days I've been waking up at like 12, but I've been making this. If I do eat something for breakfast, it's usually something sweet because I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. So even though this isn't the healthiest, it's still good. And it's like simple enough to where like I don't have to actually cook anything, which is something that I don't really like to do. And I refill my water because I'm trying to drink more water because lately I've just been slacking. Okay, I just finished eating, but I've been wanting to show you all these gummies I've been taking. They're like multivitamins. Is that what it's called? I don't really know, but it's the Nature Bounty Hair Skin and Nail Gummies. I've been taking them for a few weeks. I really don't know if they're doing anything, but <laughs> I'm taking them. These are the advanced ones. So like there's more doses of the vitamins in here, I guess. I don't really know, but there's biotin in here, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. I'm just trying to be more in tune with my health. Also, they're good for your hair, skin, and nails. Again, I don't really know if they're doing anything, but I've been taking them. You're supposed to take them with food and I've been trying to take them in the morning and they're like strawberry flavored. I will say when I first started taking them, they like tasted weird. Like they just tasted like very vitamin E. Like you could tell they're vitamins. But now that I've gotten used to the vitamins, it just tastes like strawberries. So yeah, that's that. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup real quick. I don't even know if I'm gonna leave the house today, but doing my makeup always makes me feel like a productive person in society. Yeah, we're doing it. And I'll show y'all what I use. I've been using this e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter and it is so good. It's a skin tint, so it's not like heavy or anything, which is perfect for for summer so yeah we got that and then i go in with the elf camo concealer i just put it under my eyes and anywhere where i have like dark dark spots then 
I blend it. And then I go in with powder. I use the Airspun one. First, I just set my under eyes. Just press the powder in with this little triangle thingy. And I kind of just let that powder sit. And then we take a break from that. And then I go in with my e.l.f. liquid blush. E.l.f., you for real need to sponsor me because half of my routine is just e.l.f. I just put three dots and then I take this brush and just kind of blend it out and like avoid the powder under my eye, obviously. I literally love this stuff. At first, when I started using it, I was like, that makes me look like a clown, but if you use it the right way, it can look good. So I'm done blending that, and then I take my powder again, take this triangle thing, and I usually press powder into my nose because sometimes it'll crease there. And then I put it right here because I always get creases right here because I just smile a lot. And then I take a brush and I start wiping everything off. And then if there's any other spots, then I take the brush, dip it in the powder, and then tap it off. And then I just put it on wherever it's shiny. Usually it's just like my forehead. So there's that. And then sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I put on a little more blush because I feel like whenever I put the powder on, like the powder dulls the blush a little bit. So then I put a little bit of powder blush on top of it to like make it look better. I don't really know if that even makes any sense, but I do it. I'm using this Wet n Wild blush. I don't really know. It was like $3 and I got it off Amazon. So I just like tap it a little, nothing crazy. I've been like so in a blush. It's my favorite thing now. And then mascara. I use the L'Oreal Telescopic one. It's my favorite of all time. The one that I'm using right now is brown because I bought it not knowing it was brown and it was like 10 bucks. So I'm not gonna let it just go to waste. I mean, it works just as good, but it would just look better if it was black, but it still looks good. Okay, and then my final step, lip gloss. Once again, I'm using e.l.f. The Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And it is one of my favorites. And then I put this e.l.f. setting spray on. I put too much on and I'm good to go. Sometimes I do my brows, but I'm honestly too lazy. I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. I'm honestly someone who just always has her hair up because I just hate having it in my face. So this is the look. Now let's get dressed because if you're gonna do your makeup, you might as well change your outfit. Here's the fit. Nothing crazy. I don't really think I'm going anywhere today. I don't know. I was trying to go for a summer vibe with the yellow top, but also comfy with these flowy pants. The top is from Sheen. The pants, I think they're from Ross. I don't know, my mom got them them and then she gave them to me and then i put on some jewelry nothing crazy because again i don't plan on leaving the house but yeah that's the fit okay and the last thing i'm gonna do is journal and like kind of write down my plans for the day so i'm gonna write down a little to-do list i don't always do this but sometimes i like to do gratitude and just like write down what i'm grateful for and like just reflect on life so i think i'm gonna do some of that too so let's do that So I'm done journaling. I wrote down a little to-do list. I don't have any crazy plans for today, mainly just like editing and filming that I have to do today. And then like little things like laundry. So I'm just gonna try to have like a productive day at home. It's 12 o'clock, so officially it's not morning anymore. So that means this video is over. I'm very proud of myself for filming this video because I am not a morning person. So I feel like filming morning routines takes up like so much of my energy, which sounds crazy. But since I didn't wake up super early, it was honestly nothing. I enjoyed it. I definitely do think a good morning routine like makes you feel better as a person speaking as someone who as of lately has not had a good morning routine so i hope this video gives you like a spark of motivation to have your own productive morning routine but yeah that is all for the video i hope you enjoyed if there's anything you want to see from me let me know but i hope the rest of your day is amazing and hopefully i'll see you soon bye